Welcome to our video tutorial, Units of Measure, which explains how to establish multiple units of measure for each item in the system. For example, you might purchase bottled water in 24 count cases from a vendor, but then sell the bottles individually to your customers. Assigning multiple units of measure to the bottled water provides you with the flexibility of entering quantities by the case or by each bottle on purchasing and sales transactions. Units of Measure, or UOM, is a feature available on Plus and Pro Plan accounts in SOS Inventory. In this video, you will learn how to add units of measure to the system, assign them to items, and use them on transactions. The first step in using units of measure is creating the UOM codes that you wish to use. Go to the company menu and select Units of Measure. This takes you to the UOMs list. To create a new unit of measure, select Add New. On the Unit of Measure page, enter the name of the unit of measure and an abbreviation for it, then save and close. The next step is assigning units of measure to an item. On the Operations menu, go to Inventory and select Items to get to the Items list. Use the Quick Search bar to locate the item to which you want to add UOMs. For this demonstration, the UOMs will be added to Acme Root Beer. From its Actions menu drop-down, I select Units of Measure. For the base unit, I've selected the smallest unit that I will use for this item, a bottle. On the Conversions table, I entered two different packs for the root beer. One is a 6-pack, the other is a case of 24. Notice that the Ratio column indicates the number of base units, that is bottles, that form each pack. I've also entered a sales price and a purchase price for both the pack and the case of root beer. Since I am finished, I will save and close. Now that we have created our units of measure and assigned them to an item, let's see how they work on a transaction. I've started a sales order on which my customer wants to purchase three six packs of Acme root beer. If I view the UOM options available, I can see the options for this item include bottle, case, or pack. Units of measure are available for use on all purchasing and sales transactions, but UOMs cannot be used on manufacturing functions. Base units must be used for input and output items on build and process transactions, as well as bills of materials or bombs and process templates. This concludes our tutorial on units of measure. Thank you for watching this presentation.